I've got the best killer combination of applications for you to work with projects right now. It contains Loop, To Do, Planner, and finally Project for the Web, which is also going to be called Planner. Let's have a look. All right. In my browser, I have all four applications open. I have Microsoft Loop, To Do, Planner, and Project for the Web. I'm using my Projectum account because this has a Microsoft 365 E5 license. There's multiple licenses that you can use to get Loop and To Do and Planner, but I found out that my Microsoft MVP account didn't have the correct licenses. So luckily I work at Projectum and I have access to Loop in all its glory. So here is loop.microsoft.com. If you're not familiar with it, there's a couple of nice videos that introduce you to the application. I'll put a link into the show notes for one of my favorites. But for our specific goal, let's create a new idea. I have a couple of ideas already, first thoughts, and I have something called a project brief. Now, this is where we're going. We're going to create a project brief from within loop, and then it's going to progress into a to-do, into a planner, and finally into a full-blown project. So here we go. We are going to add a new idea. We're going to call this one, well, first we're going to use a template. Here is one of those templates, project brief, plan, organize. We're not going to include demo content because that's not something that we would require for us. We want to create our own content here. We can see that there's already a title and that title aligns to what we see on the top left as well. There's also a nice cover image and I can change that to whatever kind of cover I would like. I would like to sit outdoors in this lovely shade and I'm going to rename this to project for YouTube video. Here's a little text that I'm going to ignore because I know that I'm using a template and I know that I'm using that. Here you can start adding content for your project. So see this somewhat like your project initiation document. You could use this to give a general understanding of your project, uh, a goal. So here's a couple of goals that we have. I can add team members. And if I start typing my name, here is just a text. Same goes for role, location, and some additional information that you want for the team members to be aware of what they're going to do. Now, something very cool about Loop is that you can create Loop components. These Loop components are, are interactive pieces that you can share throughout whatever application you would like. So I can copy this component and I can go to Word. And once I copy that code here, and navigate back to Word. And in Word, I can start adding, oh, don't doing that with Copilot. Now this is a loop component, and that component can be copied to whatever location I would like. I can close, and I can navigate to new mail, and if I copy that, I copy the whole component and it is fully interactive. Even when I share this inside my organization, I have the ability to add additional information. And with that, I've added some additional text and I can navigate back to my loop component. And here is that information. Now I can even remove the email and it's never sent, but the information is still here. That is something very powerful of Loop and what I really like because it makes interacting about a project brief really easy. But let's go down just a little bit because there is something more. Here we have our project deliverables and this is a component that we can add to task apps. Here it says so, and I can start typing. I can say, okay, well, uh, and as soon as I start typing my name here, 
it looks at my Active Directory and it finds me inside the solution. So now it added Eric and there is a due date and that's going to be next Wednesday when this video is coming out. So it is a to-do thing. I can also say that it is a doing now thing. And now I'm currently on a loop page, but I can also see that I can open up in Planner and in To Do. So let's have a first look at the Project for YouTube video on To Do. So here we go. Assigned to me. If I refresh my page, I can see that that first thing to do is something coming from the project for YouTube video and it has a due date. If I open that up, I can see that there is a loop component that I can access to get more information. So this is very cool. As soon as you have yourself assigned to that task list, it starts popping up in to do. Now there is more that we can do because I can also add some other Eric in our organization. To give this person access and notify them, click on this message. So because I'm now creating a workspace together with Ericom, the recipient needs to be able to see this. So I'm going to share and notify Eric and he's going to be able to look at that project task or it's not a project task yet, but it will be share and notify. So Ericom is now getting an email that he is supposed to do the second thing. And because there is two people doing work for our project, it doesn't make sense to open it in to do. Well, maybe for your personal tasks. So Eric van Herk tasks, but you also have the option to open this up in planner now. So let's have a look what happened in planner. In planner, I can see that there's a new project for YouTube video loop component. It's recommended, it's something new. And if I click on it, I can see that these are already here. We can see that Eric is assigned and the other Eric is also assigned. We also see the due date. We see everything from that planner board that we have added inside loop. There's also meeting notes. If I click on that, I'm navigated back to my loop components. That is awesome. So there's one shop, there's a one stop shop for all of your documentation. I can add additional stuff here as well. I can even add this to a workspace. Remember that this was something that was in the ideas. I can add it to a workspace or I can even create a new workspace and I can create a workspace um, and I can even give it a nice little icon and I can update the cover image as well and let's have a blue purple cover image for this one. Let's create that new workspace and if I go to my loop components I will see that projects to do is here and oh, click the wrong button projects to do is here and I have my project for YouTube video here as well. A really easy way to move between the different loop pages. That's what they're called loop pages. So here on the loop page, I can even share that whole page as a component and it will be editable in Word, in Outlook, in well, you name it basically. Loop components are shareable in a lot of locations. So let's get back to this little piece of work here. And I can even see that er Eric is editing this because I have that opening here. If I move, I can see that that moved here. So that this means that it is an interactive page where multiple people can do things simultaneously. Let's go back to our project deliverables. We've seen it open in uh, to do. We've seen it open in planner. Now the next step would be getting this to a project. And for that last step, I would have needed a little diamond here that said upgrade plan to project. And that 
little icon seems to be missing. Now, I would love to do a follow-up video on that little last piece of the puzzle, but just to be aware that this is a fully interactive loop component that we're working on within Planner. Let's add a different bucket name. And let's start adding the second thing to do to that second bucket. And let's also create a, an additional task here. And let's assign that to myself and let's set a due date for the 1st of February. Now, as soon as I do this, I would expect this linked plan to show up in my meeting notes as well. So let's first take a look how that trickled down to my to do and you saw it show up and we have it on our loop component. That is just amazing, right? We have the ability to move between our different solutions and it doesn't matter what we're doing. We can see it moving. We can see the assignments moving between the different locations here as well and things just update correctly. So this is very nice. You can start with a project brief in loop. As soon as you have your project deliverables and your tasks, you can see that in to do and in planner and a last component will be upgrading that to project and project for the web. Maybe you'll see that in your project accelerator or even in power PPM. Now, I hope you like this video and let's see if we can get that last component in another video, which will be a follow up.